do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so friends in the last lecture we have studied all the colligative properties including osmotic pressure but now we are going to study what is abnormal osmotic pressure and how does it rises so it is very important for us to know that what is abnormal osmotic pressure so friends the osmotic pressure since it is a colligative property it will depend on the number of solutes but there are also some number of solutes which undergo some few processes which could increase the number of solute when dissolved in the solvent or which could decrease the number of solute by when dissolved in solvent so so this property which is behaved by the solute particles will create an abnormality in the calculation of osmotic pressure or in actual osmotic pressure so this kind of abnormality which is shown due to the presence of solute or which is due to the presence of the nature of solute prevents us to know the exact osmotic pressure of a solution so let us see what is actually abnormal osmotic pressure so abnormal osmotic pressure is the difference in the experimental value or the observed value that we are now that will test the solution by calculating the osmotic pressure of osmotic pressure of the solution and its normal value that is calculated value that calculated value that we know theoretical value which is also known as theoretical value so the difference between these two could create an abnormality but this abnormality arises due to association or dissociation of solute particles which is present in the solution and let us study what is association and dissociation of solute particles present in the solution this is the most important factor to know what is abnormality and how does it rises so let us see so association of solute particles there are few solute particles which when dissolved in a non polar solvent when i talk about non polar solvent the first example that comes in mind is benzene so suppose acetic acid which is an organic uh, solute which is polar in nature a bit when dissolved in a non polar solute solvent like uh, benzene so this undergoes associations means multiple solute particles of acetic acid combine with each other and now since you know colligative property depends on the number of solute particles but not on the nature of solute particles so the more the quantity of uh, solute particles the more is the colligative property that we will get but in this case what happens is the amount of solute that are present in the solution and now are getting integrated or they are aggregating so because of that the number of particles gets reduced and since the number of particles get reduced the osmotic pressure has an adverse effect because of this association so let us see what is association so as i have mentioned some substances undergo association when dissolved in non polar solvents for example acetic acid undergo association when dissolved in benzene so in this case you can see i have considered an example that two moles of acetic acid now when dissolved in benzene will combine with each other to form a polymer which is basically known as a dimer of acetic acid so initially the number of particles are two but now because of this association the number of particle has become one so by this thing the colligative property has now been decreased because the number of particles are also been decreased now going to the further part what will happen if the solute undergoes dissociation if any of the solute undergoes dissociation then the particles will increase and if the particles will go on increasing and as you know already as we have mentioned many times that the colligative property depends on the number of solute particles so if the number of solute particles increases obviously 
the colligative property will also increase but yes there are also some molecules which undergo dissociation which will dissociate and which will produce multiple particles which could increase the osmotic pressure during calculation it would get an error and this kind of error is nothing but the abnormality that we would that we would get so let us see about this so substance undergoing dissociation leads to increase in the number of solute particles for example in this case acetic acid when dissolved in water and as you know acetic acid is least soluble in water or it is uh, not okay. and as you know that acetic acid when dissolved in water dissociate into two particles that is CH3COO- which is nothing but the carbonate ion and H plus ion. So you have taken only one mole of acetic acid but this one mole of acetic acid has been converted into two moles of particle. So now the particles have been increased so therefore the osmotic pressure will also be increased if the number of particles will also increase because pi b is equals to nrt but in this case the n stands for the number of moles of solute if the number of moles of solute increases then obviously the osmotic pressure will also increase during dissociation of the particle and while association of the particles the number of moles of solute will decrease and if the number of moles of solute will decrease then osmotic pressure will also decrease so these two factors that is association and dissociation has an effect on osmotic pressure or has an effect on any of the colligative property so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got to know what is abnormal osmotic pressure and please don't forget to subscribe uh, ekdachannel.com and share with your friends too thank you so much